What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, what's going on, folks? I'm back at it again and trying to give you, hopefully, another decent video. Today, I'm talking about the Donald Trump phenomenon. With the election clear, well, election ways ahead, a lot of, a lot of candidates are making big noise, and why only Donald Trump? And the reason Donald Trump is resonating with um, the voters is because everyone is thinking what he's saying and wanting to say what he says, but Donald Trump can say it. So hear me out. Donald Trump has the money. Say he says, like he says, uh, he wants to build a, a, a wall, or he tells somebody to shut up, or he says, that we, we speak English here, or he tells somebody they should go back to Univision or something. He can say that and get away with it right now because he's he's running for he's he's running the campaign. But a lot, but I noticed a lot of people when. A lot of people. Now, when I say everybody, obviously, I, mean, I hate to say this, but I have to, I have to tell, I have to say this, but I shouldn't have to say this. But there's people out there who are ignorant, don't understand. Not everyone is saying what Donald Trump is saying. That's mathematically impossible for everyone to say what he says. But there is a majority of people who feel like he feels, who feel we need to build a wall, we need to keep the illegals out, who feel it all, who, who thinks he's telling it like it's 100. And those are the people he's resonating with, and he's keeping his reach. You have Dr. Ben in, in, in second place right now, which is, like, these numbers aren't going to hold up as we go down further down the road. But if you notice, they, the GOP has made Donald sign an agreement, so to speak, where he won't run as a third party candidate. Say, say like he gets down the road, and say he loses his first place. Uh, first place contendership as far as being a, a leader of the pack. Say he gets a second or third place from the GOP. And say you know I've lost pro ran as independent. The GOP the last thing they need right now is for one of those people, one of those uh, people running for office right now. They need they don't need them to run as an independent. Because you wanna know why? It'll be like it'll be like when Ross Pro ran against uh, Old Man Bush and, um, uh, and what's his name? He took the votes away from the Republican Party that they could have used and they probably would have won. It won for uh, Ross Perot. So if, if, say, Trump doesn't get the nod for the head GOP, like, Say he's not the president of the elect, but not the president, I'm going to say. He's not the candidate from the GOP camp. The GOP doesn't want him to run as independent because they know he might take away votes, and he might take away just enough votes where there'll be an easy way, easy, easy day for the Democrats to uh, get the presidency again. But like I said, as far as Trump saying what he's saying, a lot of people just agree with that. I mean, people act like they, act like they don't. Like I work at a factory. That's my one job. Like I said, if you, if you look at my Facebook, I just bought another camera, a modern camera. So, but I do that. Like I said, I do that also. But businessmen and people who I know, who I talk to, think like that. Like Donald Trump, seriously. I mean, they're, they're like, well, what's the big deal? He's just telling it the way it is. And, and, and hey, I have to agree. There are such a part. There are parts of what he said that I agree with. There are parts that I don't agree with. But at the end of the proverbial day, I just want to see. We haven't seen anything yet. As far we haven't seen what all these guys have stood for on the Republican side. They're, they're only showing right now. They're only showing the juicy parts. We're not. We're not getting into the meat of the of the. Of uh, elections, or you want to say the meat of what, what, they, what, what their platform is, what they stand for. 
So right now, Donald Trump is seems to hit the front runner based on what people believe. And like I said, people believe it or else they're going to be a front runner. And everybody goes, well, he's paying people this and that. I don't know. I, you know, you know some, some of the stuff he's saying, you don't have to pay people to say that. I mean, people are just believing that. So, we'll have to see how this, uh, well, first of all, I don't want to see if he stays, keeps that pledge and doesn't become the third party candidate. So, Trump, Trump man is running wild, man. Like he's saying, shut up. I mean, everybody likes that. He, 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 like he got the number, he got the money for a lawsuit. But if we said what we said on our jobs, we might get fired. But he got the money and he can back it up. So, let's, we're going to keep, we're going to keep an eye on that. Because like, like I said, as far as right now, it's, it's, they got Trump and Ben Carlson one and two right now. I don't think that's going to last. I think I think once we get down, this is this is early in the in, 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 in the election process. Once we get further down the road, once we start seeing these uh, candidates platforms, I think you're gonna see like a Jeff Bush rise up. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't think you're gonna see Scott Walker. I don't think you're gonna see uh, what's his name from Texas. I think you're gonna see maybe the, the old establishment come back for him with GOP. But that's just my opinion and one man. So. So let's see it play out. So thanks for watching this video. Peace.